In 2020, a confidential document kept by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation was released to the public. Although it was a top-secret FBI document for decades, once it hit the expiration date, it was automatically declassified. The space people have visited the Tesla engineers many times, and have told us that Tesla was a Venusian, brought to this planet as a baby in 1856, and left with Mr. and Mrs. Tesla in a remote mountain province in what is now Yugoslavia. It's hard to believe that this came from an actual document released by the FBI, not a local newspaper article or a random person's testimony. The document consists of 64 pages, with some contents blocked by black tint. The document still contains plenty of controversial parts, however, including the aforementioned information. Nikola Tesla, a genius scientist and one of the people with the highest IQ in human history. While being recognized as one of the fathers of modern electricity, he invented many other things unrelated to electricity. A large number of innovative technologies that we use today, such as smartphones, computers, and navigation, come from Tesla's ideas. He developed hundreds, even thousands of inventions, contributing to the advancement of science for humankind more than anyone else. Due to this, some people speculate that he introduced alien technology. Conspiracy theorists created various theories, saying that Tesla actually had close contact with extraterrestrials. However, these are no longer just theories thanks to the release of shocking documentation about Tesla being an extraterrestrial from Venus. There are even more shocking things mentioned in the FBI document, such as Dan Fry is the author of The White Sands Incident. In this book, he tells the story of a round-trip journey he made in a flying saucer, from a desert spot on the White Sands Proving Ground in New Mexico to New York City in just 32 minutes. The Tesla document includes a record regarding a high-ranking FBI agent using a flying saucer to travel across the country. Surprisingly, during Tesla's lifetime, one of the breakthrough inventions that he tried to put into practical use was a flying saucer. Tesla was said to have been particularly immersed in and fascinated by flight-related ideas. In 1911, he began developing an anti-gravity aircraft with movements similar to that of a UFO. According to his plan, it could stay in midair for a long period of time without propellers or wings. It could also fly freely, which is much different from conventional aircraft movements of vertical takeoff and landing. The diagram drawn by Tesla himself contains the details of the aircraft's systems, such as the internal disk rotation control system and the power-based motion control system. This diagram was only known as Tesla's unique diagram. Ever since the release of the confidential document, people have discussed whether the flying saucer was invented by Tesla or something Tesla was trying to emulate. According to testimonies of those claiming to have been kidnapped by extraterrestrials, a UFO's interior is quite similar to the anti-gravity aircraft invented by Tesla. Is this purely a coincidence? There is another person who made shocking claims regarding the matter. Arthur Matthews, one of Tesla's assistants, who took over his research after his death, claimed that from 1941 to 1960, Venusians would visit him once every two years. The purpose of their visit seemed to be research inspection. Their appearance was no different from that of humans, and they spoke fluent English. They were extremely intelligent. Their spatial sense and aesthetic ability were particularly much higher than that of humans. If they were satisfied with the research, they would return with contentment. Otherwise, they would provide directions for improvement. Such remarks were treated as baseless claims before the FBI document declassification. Now the need to re-examine Matthew's somewhat unbelievable testimony is growing. This leads us to question, did he actually meet Venusians? Another Tesla invention is mentioned in the FBI document. Tesla is said to have drawn a diagram of a death beam, also known as a death ray. According to the records, he drew the initial diagram at the age of 78. By accelerating certain particles to 48 times the speed of sound in a vacuum chamber, he managed to complete a theory of weaponizing the death ray based on the large amount of energy generated. Tesla named and called it the peace ray, not a death ray. He believed that an overwhelming fear would soon bring peace to the entire planet. Despite sounding like a mere urban legend, the death ray is also mentioned in the FBI document. A few minutes after this conversation, Mr. Spannell again telephonically contacted the writer and advised that he had been in telephone communication with Dr. D. Lozado, one of the advisors to Vice President Wallace. After talking to Lozado, he, Lozado, called back to Spannell and told him that the government was vitally interested in the effects of Tesla, particularly those dealing with the wireless transmission of electrical energy and the death ray and for Spannel to lose no time in doing all he could to preserve them. The contents of the FBI document were indeed shocking, but they were only a limited portion of it, as important parts seemed to be covered with black tint, thus making it impossible to confirm. If it is true that Tesla was an extraterrestrial from Venus, there would be so many things left unconfirmed in the document, including, why did he come to Earth? Why did he help the advancement of science on Earth? What exactly is the flying saucer used by the FBI agent? And did he actually complete the death ray? 
Controversies surrounding the matter have slowly increased as well, followed by the increasing demand for an explanation by the FBI. However, to this day, the FBI has not given any explanations nor answers regarding the declassified document. There is one thing we can be sure about. All of this is real, unfabricated information from an FBI document, which was declassified after reaching its expiration date. This led to people saying that Tesla was actually an extraterrestrial who came to Earth to contribute to the development of humankind. Of course, significant remarks he made during his lifetime have also been thrown into the spotlight. I think that nothing can be more important than interplanetary communication. It will certainly come someday. And the certitude that there are other human beings in the universe, working, suffering, struggling like ourselves, will produce a magic effect on humankind, and will form the foundation of a universal brotherhood that will last as long as humanity itself. Tesla is said to have repeatedly performed researches, working extremely hard on means of interplanetary communication. Moreover, he also said something even more direct and bizarre regarding the matter. I have received signals from intelligent extraterrestrial beings. Considering his usual speech and behavior, his remark was only described as eccentric. However, if we think about it in conjunction with a recently declassified document, it seems to be quite relevant. According to the FBI document, Tesla's inventions are at least 500 years ahead of their time. There's a rumor that the FBI broke into Tesla's residence and broke open his entire safe. This could be thought of as an urban legend created based on facts. The FBI has announced that they had returned the confiscated documents and findings to Tesla's family, including his older sister. However, the Teslas claimed, what we received was nothing but unimportant, discarded things. The real ones were still in the hands of the U.S. government. Nikola Tesla, the unfortunate genius scientist who spent his entire life as a bachelor, only focusing on research and advancement of science for the sake of humankind. Scientists stated that, without Tesla, science would have fallen behind by at least half a century, or even worse, a whole century. In his later years, Tesla lived a hard life, wandering from one hotel to another. In 1943, he died alone in a hotel room in New York. Following his death, he was reappraised in many ways, resulting in him becoming a respected great man in history. Tesla's life is said to have plenty of secrets that remain hidden to this day. Was he really just an extraordinary genius scientist? Or was he another being that came to Earth to impart his knowledge on humankind? This has been Strange Night.